welcome to another video. My name is Anne Marie Nasharu, and as you can see today, we have guests. We're going to be talking about waiting upon the Lord. Yeah? yeah. For what? Yeah. <laughs> you answer for what? <laughs> if you for what? <laughs> Waiting upon the Lord for a, a spouse, a marriage, a yeah. spouse. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from the perspective of uh, single ladies. So this is a topic that I know many women um, talk about in many gatherings. And it's something that affects very many single ladies. So we're going to talk because I was there and God brought me out. Not out brought me into a marriage and I just wanted to bring other women into this uh, so that we can have this conversation and just know um, that there is hope we can still wait and wait in God right yeah. so the topic today was how to trust God when there is a delay right mm -hmm. so let's talk about it where to start <laughs> <laughs> So you all know my story, I, there's another video that I talk about this. So for me, I waited for nine years. Nine years from the time God said, you're ready for marriage until it happened. There's usually God speaks mm -hmm. until it happens. Then, then you see the manifestation. No one talks so much about that period in between. And yeah. that is where the, the pudding is. It's like yeah, the That's the gist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's, it's, that's a story. That's the hard part. Yeah. yeah. So how long has your waiting been? And you're waiting, right? So maybe yeah. you can introduce yourself. Look at me. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's introduce ourselves, huh? <laughs> let's start there. Well, um, I'm Charity Mokir. And um, I'm I'm Mary Gasher's friend. Okay. <laughs> and I'm from church. Yeah. Let me add that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kathy Imani. Kathy means pure. Yeah. yeah so Kathy Imani is waiting purely for the Lord. Yeah. And it's been a long wait. You know, I'm hearing nine years. I'm thinking nine years is long. I've, I've waited. I think my waiting is an adult, you know, an official legal adult. Yeah. But of course, in the beginning, I did not wait. You know, I, I didn't wait the way. I'm waiting now. That yeah. you know now. Yes. Wait. Yes. In you a know? night pure. In a pure, in a godly way. Because yes. there's, a, there's a way to wait when you want God to do it. God is not going to, God doesn't build on somebody else's foundation. Yeah, so he had to take off all that waiting wrong. Mm -hmm. All that looking around, you know, is, is it this nigga? Mm -hmm. You know, is it that one? Is it? He has to take away all that you think, you know, all that prior knowledge, all that, the things that you've picked up in dating, um, you know, dating sites and in conversations. Yeah. He's not gonna, he's not gonna do that. Mm. So by the time I learned how to wait right, the right way, uh, I was 30. <laughs> I was 30. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's been, I think, the difference between waiting then and waiting now, at that point, you know, you're waiting to be anybody's wife. But that's not how God plans it. Because then God doesn't give you any husband, yeah. any spouse. There is what God has in store. And so um, I began to realize I had to make up my mind whether I want to be anybody's wife yeah. or somebody's wife. Because oh. that's a distinction. Anybody's wife means anything that comes can hack it. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's the right one, whether it's, you know, you're wearing pants. That's all we require. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> but then when you're waiting on God, he begins to tell you, you know, there are certain rewiring things. You. Yes. Rewiring. And then also re like showing you how he's wired you for them. Ah. Because you're coming to submit under somebody else's vision, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you've got to know what am I wired to handle? What am I coming in to partner with? Yeah. Because then you're coming in to be somebody's wife. 
somebody has very specific connotation anybody's anything can hack it anything goes but somebody it means he was being crafted as i was being crafted yeah, yeah, yeah. you know totally. in that weight there was what god was doing in my life that he knew if i took that into that marriage that guy is as good as dead mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. let me yeah. give charity a chance i, <laughs> I think I in line to what um imani is saying um, this is this is a verse that uh, she normally likes sharing on, you know, from the book of Isaiah yeah. that none shall yeah. lack our mates. Oh, yeah, oh my God, that was yeah. nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I used to take it into God's yeah. presence. None yeah. shall lack a mate. Yeah. Remember, none shall lack a mate. I guess so, so it's actually her. Me. It's her. Yes. Me, it's your specific. It's God is looking at the girl. The, yeah, yeah. Like the specific partner. Because you see, our mate is just anyone. anyone. Yeah. But her, her mate, mate it is her custom dude. Made, tailor her made, personal, made person. personal person. Yeah. Just for you and you and you mm. alone. So I think understanding that there is someone for you yeah yeah changes the dynamic how it changes how you wait because mm -hmm. in the world and i think from family setup you know you get to see like people maybe hooking up just for the sake of yeah. it and mm -hmm. then you know all the, like i was yeah. the order not for yeah. so long oh god because i, I was waiting yeah, yeah. So you to say everyone was just mm, 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 everywhere, yeah. but then there's this one guy mm -hmm. who looks awkward and mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. amongst everyone. Yeah, but yeah. you, you know how you're with him. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, exactly. aunties. Oh God, we need yeah. a summon for aunties. Let me, yeah. Anyhow, and yeah. then maybe you you find ah. that societal pressure when people come and tell you, you know, you don't have to like get married. Mm -hmm. You can just get someone and then like stay with them and then yeah. like no, yeah. you can get them to sleep and then yeah, you can live with them and then get married later because that's what the world will tell that's what the world mm. says mm. that's, that's, what, that's what the world does, yeah. that's what the world does. And, so and if you die and what you just move on and move in the next part <laughs> that's true that's true but uh i think um three years ago that's when i understood because uh, i remember for me like those a, like sort of family depression you get like oh why can't you do this do this thing in this way and i was like no no no, no. Mm. i don't have to do this this thing that you're telling me i can wait and i chose like hey me i'd rather wait on god because i remember in 20 2019 i was like hey, i i want to just wait on god because god has to have someone for me mm -hmm. and i think being in in a in a high school uh, like it was like most people were born again and you get to see like people who are looking for like families where people are born again they'll tell you know we are waiting we are being taught to do this and it's like mm, i want that wow. i wait that way because yeah this people are telling me something about hard before wow. like you have to wait mm. so i was like I at least you were told i was never told i came to find out for myself yeah. in my late 20s that there's a right way of waiting <laughs> you knew it in high school. I also had no idea. Yeah. Uh, funny enough, yeah, in high school, because uh, most people are born again, I think because of the CU and just being with such people. So, like, I knew, but sometimes now when you come back home and you're the only born again person, mm -hmm. so you're like, okay, you're just weighing, like, I. But this one, this way looks better because when you get to hear, like, testimonies and stories, and then during weekend challenges i enjoyed when like pastors would come with their wives or like, ah. like this guest and then maybe these young people who are like new into marriage and who come with their wives and they're like oh then this is the right thing i mm -hmm. think i never saw it mm -hmm. maybe you know, yeah it's, right i never saw it i never thought that i would be my in high school i just used to see but it never crossed my mind that Maybe because it wasn't drilled into my system that family, husband, wife come together in a godly way, get children, bring up a generation that feels... I found those for myself. Mm -hmm. Like uh, getting born again and then getting serious with God, that's when you discover we can actually... God requires us to be fruitful, multiply, increase, fill the earth. Mm -hmm. But there is a formula and a structure and a way to do it the God way. Yeah. And then now, like you said, 
and learning the things that I thought were because I saw come mistakes and I saw people hooking up and I was in this life and then now I get born again and now I'm seeing God and I'm like I need to unturn all the tables of what I thought waiting was yeah. and now start doing it the right way mm. and then now the process you begin it and now walking into purity and walking into seeking God about your heart mm. seeking God about this other person and he says remove this you cannot speak like that you cannot go into certain places mm. you cannot entertain certain kind of relationships I think that for me took quite some time mm. because no one told me I had to go out and search it for myself. But you see now, if for people like us who who have learned to this degree, mm. we have a voice to speak to someone mm. who doesn't know that there is a right way yeah. of waiting yeah. and doing this mm. and seeking God, and you shall find Him if you yeah. seek Him with all of your heart. Yeah. He shall be found by you. Yeah, you know I like what she says about modeling. It 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 really means then you know that we've got a like you're saying yeah we we've got a we've got a voice we've got a role to play. Uh, no one modeled this for me. I dated very early. I'm not even gonna tell you how early, <laughs> but I dated early, and I think looking back, I realized what we had then was actually really proper. Number one, we chose to wait. We were in high school. It was a mixed high school. All our friends didn't wow. wait. So guys would laugh on Monday when guys are giving their hooking up stories. And we, you know, when he's with the dudes, they, apparently he's laughed at when I'm with the girls, they laugh at me. Because we, we had made a decision to wait. And we waited after high school and, and, and everything. And I suppose up to that point, we were doing it right, even though we didn't really know no. that this was it. And society, we were doing it right, but society, I mean classmates and guys in school, were making fun of us. So you choose to do right, you still get laughed yeah. at. Yeah? And when we lost that, okay, we broke up somewhere along the way. But he moved on with his life and I moved on with mine. And clearly, I didn't move the right way. Yeah, But you see, when we lost that, then it opens you to a whole load of gosh it's pandora's box yeah because then you go into waiting wrong yeah. and i'm telling you if somebody had told us there was a way that we were waiting mm -hmm. right yeah. gosh there is no telling how our story would have ended yeah. whether or not we'd have been together you know but you find like for a whole decade after that it was just strings of heartbreak and heartbreak. that's where the delay comes in yeah, because so now you've you've turned off with so much junk and then you find out God is a right way uh -huh. and yeah. then you allow his hand to be on you mm -hmm. and then he has to yes, start you moving. Yeah, yeah. he's going to throw out all yeah. that junk. Yeah. yeah, for you to be um but his grace, but then yeah. I uh, he purifies you, refines yeah. you, yeah. refines your mind because yeah. you have allowed him to touch your life in a certain yeah. way because yeah. you want it his will. Mm. His will. Yeah. And by the time you're getting to his will, oh gosh, that's yeah, all it's another. Mm. So so what are the challenges that you face? What are the challenges that you're facing in this weight and trusting that Lord uh, even as we're moving on in time goes, I know that you're faithful. I know that you will come through. I know that you hear me when I call. So what are some of the challenges that you face? I know we've talked about the relatives and the aunties. Oh yeah, all oh, those. Well, that's there. I had that. <laughs> We're about to start hiring guys for Christmas. <laughs> it's that season. I day. know. Hey, it's Christmas time. Hey. We ain't going to shags. Tell me what are the challenges that you face. Hey, hey, hey. As a, as a, as a, hmm. what? Now how we I start it? Um, sometimes. In the waiting, let me tell you, in the waiting, Satan also brings counterfeits, mm. you know, Satan will bring counterfeits, like for real, sometimes, hey, you will, someone will try like to get to you, you know, and maybe, especially, but one thing I can tell you in as much as the counterfeits will come, I thank God for discernment this season, yeah. for this season, because yeah. I think, Earlier on, I wouldn't have that discernment 
because sometimes someone will come, they will approach you. Because um, for me, I think, okay, not even I think, I remember like a few years ago, you get someone trying to like approach you, trying to like love bomb you, and then you're okay. like, eh? why, why are you rushing? You know, I'm trying to rush. Mm. Cause I, I believe when it when it's something like from God, He doesn't like rush you. He doesn't there's no like, pressure. There's no pressure. It doesn't get you out of character. Mm. You know, when you're in in God's timing and when it's something from the Lord, it it is just um, it's just peaceful. Mm. So you will find like someone trying to like arouse those feelings, but maybe you're not in that in the, in the wrong time, and maybe the you're not even person. yeah, mm. and maybe you're not even yeah. there. Yeah. Mm. Most of the time, you're not even there, and then especially when they come with pressure, you're like, ah. no, 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 no. But I, but I but I thank God like for this season because uh, He gives you discernment to know. But those things come, mm -hmm. and sometimes you're like, okay, when it happens to your friends, you're like, oh, when is it coming? Mm -hmm. When is the person coming? You know, what? sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're, you're like, ah, when is the person coming? Father, is it? Coming, like, is it time? It, it, you know, yeah, it does come. It, uh, it, it will come. It will come. It will come. Something that um, my husband uh, has been drinking into my system for the past three months is in everything give thanks. Yeah. yeah in everything yeah, they give yeah, thanks. Yeah. Like, it seems like there is a delay, mm -hmm. but instead of me saying God, why is this happening? I change it mm -hmm. and I take it to God as. Do you see something in me that you need to work on? Ah, that's, that's good. a good thing. That's do you good see thing. something in me that you need to yeah. change? Yeah. What do you want me to do maybe for you? Is there an assignment that you have for me? So I won't be focused on what I don't have at this moment. Mm. I know you're making me, I know you're shaping me, I know you're transforming me. Mm. But as you're taking me through this period where I have to be at your feet, and go back to the lover of my soul. Yeah. My beloved where you become everything. Mm -hmm. I choose not to see it as delay. Mm -hmm. But I choose to see let your will be done. Father, if there are things that I need to deal with. Yeah. Or we'll go and wage war. Let me wage war. Sure. As you show me and as you prepare me mm -hmm. for the one that you have for me. Preach. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. You know. <laughs> now let me just can I be real? Can I just talk? Talk. <laughs> I like this part. I like what you've said. Cause it, it makes a lot of sense for me because I have lived it, you know. Uh, when you've waited, you know, and I think girls wait in a very interesting way because you're waiting thinking, ah, six months, then yeah. you wait, and then a uh, uh, year, and then, oh, right. Lord, two years, then three years, you're like, oh, Lord, I can't it's make happening. it anymore, you know. Yeah, is this even going to happen? Did I even hear you right? Do you even want me to yeah. get married? Mm. And the Lord has to go reaffirming what he said, yeah. you know? And I like that he, he gives you the word he gives you, in, he gave you in the beginning, then he builds it up. Mm. So the next time that doubt or that feeling of hopelessness or whatever is coming or you feel the weight has been long, then you have a bit more word to build on. He didn't leave you at the level where you started. And... I, I actually got to that place not too long ago, yeah, so I just don't look like I have got it. I, I have not got it, yeah, where I started to pray, or oh, maybe, Lord, you're taking a bit of a while because there's still something left undone. Mm -hmm. There's still something that if I go in there with, it's going to be trouble, or it's going to curtail that which you really want to do. Because we've also got to realize that marriage is not just for the two of us because we are in love. I realize once that's the least of God's problems. Yeah, you love. know, I love the feeling, oh, what you life. know, yeah, that yeah. fickle feeling. Yeah. And if you wake up and it's raining, like me, who I like cold, I'm not loving people very much. There, I actually have a sticker that says, I, I love coffee and about three people. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so beginning to see that there is there could be something that God is still working on or waiting and, for you, you to know, or yeah because mm -hmm. then when I look back I can't tell you how many times recently and by recently probably last three years I've been saying oh wow it was for my good that you waited mm -hmm. because otherwise I'd have destroyed this yeah, person yeah. or destroyed uh, me yeah, you know or gone in and decided ah 
I did not wait 20 years for you to come and give me this kind of rubbish. Yeah. Mm. I'm actually better off on my own. Yeah. But then I think my family got to a place, eh? you know, by the time you're that is something going onward. They begin to say, "Oh, but you know, you're happy with your life. You're settled." So they they use me as the example. <laughs> if you, if you know, if you want to be single and happy, just do what she does. Yeah. Me who I'm, I'm there saying, "Lord, I've waited long enough. You know, let's do this. Let's do this." But when I look back and I see what the Lord has dealt yeah. with mm. in my life, in my family, baggage even from family things. I'm really glad it's taken this long. Mm -hmm. And I had to get to the point, I think, this year when I said, okay, Lord, as you're dealing with me, I'm not sure if you're dealing with him as well, eh? mm -hmm. but just in case, Lord, mm -hmm. let there be nothing standing. So if there's something he's not dealing with that you need dealt with, Lord, yes. give it to me. Oh, really? Yeah, you give it. it. Yes, I'm going to bring it. Lord, don't give me rest. If he's not dealing with it right now, maybe because he's not ready or whatever it is, because I can't tell, Lord, tell me what it is. Yeah. I'm going to take it upon myself. I'm going to deal with it. There's not going to be a situation where there's a vacuum. Don't allow there to be a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Because I refuse to believe that the Lord can let me wait 20 years, 25 years, and then give me rubbish. Mm -hmm. It's not happening. Because you've surrendered your life to God. Yeah. And he is a good father, so he yes. will give you good gifts. Ah. Yeah. He, that's something that... Um, God revealed to me just before my husband came. He said, you don't trust that I will give you a good gift. Wow. And I didn't know. But he said it, and I know this was like from the Father. You don't trust that I will give you good gifts. Mm. So I had to change from God give me, God give me, until I said, what do you see? Show me. Yeah. It was when he started showing me the trust issues that mm. you have. Deal with this, you need to forgive this, you need mm. to see me as your father. Mm. That I wow. know what I need to give you because I know you. All mm. of your days were ordained, they were mm. written down. I know every inch about you. Mm. And the person that I'm going to give you is because I have already prepared him. Mm. Maybe not I, my husband seeing me and knowing who I am, but mm. the preparation and the process that he goes through. Mm -hmm. Who have the capacity to carry handle? Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like to that. carry me so in the here yeah. and now. So delay is not uh, what do you what denial. Do you it's not denial. And I think if I if I'm I'm, I'm to add on to that, maybe singlehood is a gift. Mm -hmm. It is a gift. Yeah, it's, a it's a season. It's a season. It's a season. And seasons season. come and seasons season. go. So don't waste the mm -hmm. season. Yeah. 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 Because you get, I think that's the time God works on you. That's the time you also get to learn that you can do things that you never thought you'd be. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you can, that's when you get to also explore talents. I have a friend of mine was telling me today that, <laughs> you know, I had mentioned to them like a friend of mine had traveled. So to the time she's like, hey. I thank God that they can do that mm. like right now because now I can't be able to do that because of a young child mm. and I got to understand that everything works in a season yeah, you know, yeah. single, you can you can travel you can just do go and you buy the things that you need to buy because yeah. yeah. you're married you have yeah. to go and yeah, yeah. <laughs> When I was single, I could buy hair for three, how many thousands or mm -hmm. buy perfume, whatever well, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I did splash. Now, Kitungo mm -hmm. Nya Scary Mesha, you have to think about those things. <laughs> but when you're alone, you know the responsibilities, yeah, you have them, but then you can explore more yeah. and yeah. travel more. Mm -hmm. Now I can't even leave the house without saying, uh, I'm going in this place and this place. Mm -hmm. Because he might need you yeah. for a certain thing. Yeah. Yeah, so don't sure. waste the seeds. Don't waste. Uh, don't and, and don't look at it as delay. Look at it as okay, God, let's work to partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with God. Partner. Mm -hmm. that's, that's Absolutely. True. Partner with that's God. True. Yeah. That's true. yeah. Mm -hmm. So God is good and we still trust Him. And we are going to testify of um, what the Lord has done because He's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and He'll come through. If He did it for me and if He did it for all these other people who have been waiting mm -hmm. upon God. Yeah. She will do it for you. Amen. I'll do it for you. Amen. Amen. All of yeah. us. Yeah. 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 That has been a really good conversation. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. I'm hoping uh, we can do this again some other time. Mm -hmm. But as for now, thank you for joining us. You can like, you can share, you can subscribe. And see you again in another video. Bye bye. Thanks.